Hey everyone, so today I was going to show you guys how I did my makeup for the day as a part of my get ready with me. I'm starting with clean bare skin that I just cleansed with the makeup eraser only, like I mentioned previously, which is some water. And now I'm using the Lancome Genifique Serum, which is another sample moisturizer that I have. I love going through those and just kind of figuring out what works for my skin. And this is definitely a winner. I'm just going to massage that through my skin, making everything nice and ready for makeup. Now I'm taking the Clinique Moisture Surge Gel Eye Cream and putting that under my eyes, working it in with padding and circular motions to kind of reduce the puffiness under my eyes. This is a great eye cream that I love using in the morning because it is very lightweight and makeup sits wonderful um, over top. Now I'm taking the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer in Fair 2W. This is a great tinted moisturizer to use that is a little bit more coverage than the one I used yesterday, which was the Time Balm from The Balm. This one I love putting on with a brush. I'm using an Eco Tools buffing brush um, and just moving that into my skin, starting in the middle and kind of working out um, just on places where I need to cover some redness and things like that. This stuff does a great job of keeping your skin dewy and fresh, like a tinted moisturizer, but giving you a little bit of coverage. Now I've got the pretty fresh ColourPop Concealer in Fair 20N. This is a great lightweight concealer. I really go high up on the bridge of my nose because I do have a lot of blue veins there. I have very thin skin under my eyes, so i got to make sure I'm having um, Salasa Concealer to cover that up. This is a very lightweight concealer that works perfectly um, for under the eyes. And then I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer to conceal blemishes because this one has a little bit more meaniness to it. It covers a little bit more um, and does a great job of staying pl uh, put or staying in place. So it's great for blemishes and around the nose. And then I'm going to quickly use a Real Technique sponge to blend everything into my skin. Now I'm taking the NARS Matte Multiple in Venetian. I'm going to go on the face of the product um, for my cheekbones and then turn it on its side for my nose and um, forehead. Blending this in with a ColourPop Duo Fiber Brush. It's the F4, I believe, um, which has a little bit more kick to it. And it blends everything out so nice and beautifully. And now I'm taking the... Studio Fix Pressed Powder Foundation from MAC in the shade NC20 and the Jaclyn Hill JH01, I believe, powder brush. And I'm going to blend that all over my skin, giving me some more coverage, but also just um, mattifying that tinted moisturizer just a little bit because I do want to go a little bit more glam today with everything. This powder does have coverage, but it is still nice and natural and matte. It's one of my all-time favorite powders. If you have um, skin that has a lot of redness or blue tint to it with your veinous in your eyes, or you've got a lot of um, blemishes, this stuff will be a game changer. Then I'm going to take the NARS Blush and Orgasm and a ColourPop Angled Brush, and I'm just going to blend that onto the apples of my cheeks, working it backwards. This is, again, my favorite blush of all time. I think I had my first one of these when I was like 15 and I have purchased it over and over and over again because it does something special to your face. Before highlighters were a thing, I used to get so many compliments when I wore this because of the beautiful coral glow that this blush has. I'm going to take the Elizabeth Arden Bronzer in Deep O2 and I'm going to lightly contour, I guess. It's more of a bronzy look, but I'm going to contour just a hair with this bronzer. It's got a great tone to it, nothing too warm. And I'm going to just bronze all over my face. I am aware that I do look like a gremlin in these videos, but I'm taking the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlight with my finger because of the Super Shock texture. It works beautifully with the warmth of your fingers and skin. So I'm going to just put that on my cupid's bow, uh, nose, and cheekbones, a little bit on the chin as well. This is a beautiful, really blinding highlight, but it's also quite natural. It's like the best of both worlds. I'm going to fill in my brows with the Glossier Brow Flick. Um, again, I talked about this a little bit in the last video. This is not my favorite product because it is a little bit dark for me at the moment, but I do love it. It's quick and easy to use. I really love the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in Dope Taupe, but ColourPop is backordered on their shipping. So welcome to my TED Talk about why my eyebrows suck. Now I'm going to use the Kim Kardashian West So Fire Palette. I got this for Christmas from my cousin JC. It is the most beautiful thing. I am going to take the shade. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Crater of... Kayla, and I'm going to put that in the crease, just blending that in with a fluffy um, lid brush, not lid brush, excuse me, crease brush from ColourPop using windshield wiper motions. I brought that shade down on my lower lash line, and then I took Pele's Curse and Volcanic Haze, and I mixed those two together and put those on the outer corner of my eye, just um, focusing really heavily to make that a little bit darker, but blending it in just a hair going into the inner corner. Then I'm going to take um, the Jaclyn Hill JH, 
something lit brush it's the best lit brush i just can't think of the name and mac fix plus and i'm going to take the shade burnt and bronze and put that on my lid it's a beautiful warm um toned bronze shade so if you have blue or green eyes kind of like me got like the hybrid of both um it'll look freaking phenomenal on your eyeballs um, and then I'm just going to take the Tarte Dual Ended Black Liner. I'm going to use the liquid side, and I'm going to wing that out. This is a very, very, very black liner. I believe it was 12 bucks. I think this is the most ingenious thing in the whole world because it is perfect for travel. It has a um, liquid side and a pencil side, and they're both phenomenal. Once I'm done winging out my liner, which has taken me a while, as you can see, I'm going to take the... Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. That is an amazing mascara, so I cannot wait to show you guys what this looks like if I would just hurry up. <laughs> so this is the mascara. It is the best. I love the brush. It's an hourglass shape. I feel like it really just coats the lashes beautifully and does an amazing job of making sure that everything is... Um, fluttery and fluffy and gorgeous putting that on my lower lash line as well and just building up those lashes i have naturally longish lashes but this gives me the volume that i need it's freaking phenomenal okay so when that's done i'm taking the tom ford lipstick at Edie and just putting that all over my lids or lids my lips it's a very very pale kind of peachy nude so i'm also going to go ahead and take the italia lip liner in soft pink and just um, outline my lips just a hair. I'm doing this over the lipstick so that it will have something to kind of mesh in with and blend in with. This lipstick and pencil combo is one of my faves. Something in my tooth. That was great. Um, it's just a beautiful combination of adding the pink with the peach. These Tom Ford lipsticks in these tiny itty bitty baby sizes are so expensive, but holy geez, they are worth it. I'm taking a little bit more of the Hourglass Bronze Ambient Light Bronzer and just bronzing up my skin just a hair. And that is my makeup done. Now I'm doing my hair um that's what it looks like i promise it's soft and not dead and gross it's just fluffy okay that's what it is so i'm gonna brush it out with a wet brush it's gonna be super simple i promise i'm just brushing out my hair with a wet brush and i am assessing the curl situation um i thought eh, that's, that's good enough so i'm gonna go ahead and bring my hair up it's kind of starting at my eyebrows um into a half up half up half up half down style i'm going to take a rubber band tie it into a ponytail and then I'm going to twist my hair around into a little bun and I'm going to start manipulating the bun once it's on my head. I should have left it there but it just kind of started going crazy um, to be like a little bit of a puffy fan but you know it's fine. Um, just manipulating that bun, searching for a bobby pin for a hot minute, realizing I don't have any and then just moving on. So I'm going to take that wet brush and I'm going to brush my hair once again. And then I'm going to take the Miracle Spray from Lange, just do a couple spritz right there. And this is what the spray is awesome for, is that it adds that shine and kind of life back into your hair. So I can just manipulate it with a brush and it's going to look nice and smooth and way less frizzy. Um, it's like a one-stop shop. Be aware of the alcohol content of this. I wouldn't use this every day on your hair, but if you are I'm going to use it. It's going to do great things for you. Now I'm going to change into some clothes. This outfit is full on Betsy Johnson. I'm taking some red leggings, the red sports bra that matches, which is like a cute little long line set. Um, super, super, super stinking cute. Love it, love it, love it. And then my sweatshirt is also from Betsy Johnson. It says Femme on it. This is the softest sweatshirt of all time. And the writing in is the writing is in this beautiful, like, holographic glitter, which I love. And all I was doing today was kind of running errands in my classroom, so that's all I really needed. So I'm going to brush out my hair again because that sweater just, you know, kind of made everything a little bit crazy. You can see my curls are nice and soft and tousled, but they're not um, gross and frizzy and psychotic like they once were. So... There's a fly flowing around my room as I'm recording this. I'm also going to eat my gully gummies. Take my Adidas tennis shoes and my sunglasses, which are Taylor's that he just gave me because his head is too big to fit anything. And we are going to be good to go. I'm going to spray myself with the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle perfume, which is like the holy grail. It is the everything perfume of everything. It's freaking amazing. And my mom got me the great big size for Christmas this year. It's just, I said, oh my gosh, because it is, oh my gosh. And that's it. We're done. All right, let's see if I can get a 
far enough back for this. Okay, here is my quarantine outfit of the day. I just went to my classroom and worked a little bit. So this is what I'm wearing. These leggings are from Betsy Johnson. They are red, um, like leopard print leggings. And they've got the big black stripe down the side with the matching like long line sports bra. It's freezing. So I'm wearing another Betsy Johnson sweatshirt that says Femme on it. I love Betsy Johnson clothes. It's like a weird obsession of mine. I've got black Adidas. I think my whole outfit right now, apart from my sunglasses, which are Taylor's, are from Nordstrom. Because this bag that I'm carrying, even though it does not match at all, it's a Tory Burch Celestial Tote, Celestial Chain Link Tote, I think is what it's called in baby pink, is from Nordstrom. I got this in the spring sale and everything else that I'm wearing is from Nordstrom Rack. I have on my Tiffany's bracelet, because I always wear that, and my ring that is my grandma's from Norway. And Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. And that is everything I'm wearing today. I did film my makeup and there's my crazy hair. So I hope you guys enjoy. I need a body pinner right there, but I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Smushing it down. Thanks for watching.